AITA for ordering extra spicy food and embarrassing a date. I'm half Chinese from my mom's side. I recently met a guy on Tinder. When I told him my background, he started talking about how much he loves Chinese food and asked me out to dinner and for me to pick my favorite restaurant. There's a great, authentic Sichuan restaurant in our city so I suggested that. I warned him that it's quite spicy. I have many American friends that say they love Chinese food but what they really mean is they love Panda Express. Nothing wrong with that. I love American Chinese food too. I just wanted to make sure. He said it's fine. He's been to that restaurant before and it wasn't even that spicy. Then he made a joke about how he's offended I don't think he can eat spicy food. He has a lot of Asian friends and can handle spice better than some of them. We agreed on a date and went to this restaurant. I ordered my dish in Chinese. I look white from my dad so if I ever order in English, I always get a pretty mild dish. But if I order in Chinese, they'll always make it spicier. My date told me to order for him too, and that he wanted it very spicy. She asked me in Chinese if he was sure, and I said yes, make it extra spicy, he can handle it. Food comes out, and it's spicy. A couple of bites in and he starts struggling. I asked how the food is, and he's still putting up a strong front but he's barely eating it anymore. The waitress came over and starts speaking to me in Chinese, asking how the food is. The usual small talk and then said in English to him too spicy, and laughed a little. I didn't think she was being rude. She's probably used to people ordering food too spicy for them all the time and I laughed a little too. The second she walks away, he asked what I said to her in Chinese, and tells me I ordered it extra spicy to make fun of him because he ate at this place multiple times but it was never like this so I must have said something. I try to explain the whole ordering in English versus Chinese thing, that many Asian restaurants will do white spicy. It happens to me at Thai restaurants all the time unless I'm with a Thai friend. I tried a bite of his and it's the same so he tried mine and he said how mine is way less spicy. But even after I trade with him, he basically only ate rice for the rest of the dinner. After I got home, he texted me saying how it was rude that I purposely ordered and spoke Chinese to the waitress in front of him, that I wanted to embarrass him on purpose, and that I ruined his meal just so I can laugh at him not being able to handle it. I told some of my friends so we can laugh about this ridiculous date. But they think I should have known better that he wasn't going to be able to eat that food because he probably always got white spicy and was just being cocky, trying to impress me or something so I shouldn't have told the restaurant to make it extra spicy just to prove that he can't actually handle it. Story 2 AITA for ordering extra spicy food and embarrassing a date I'm half Chinese from my mom's side. I recently met a guy on Tinder. When I told him my background, he started talking about how much he loves Chinese food and asked me out to dinner and for me to pick my favorite restaurant. There's a great, authentic Sichuan restaurant in our city so I suggested that. I warned him that it's quite spicy. I have many American friends that say they love Chinese food but what they really mean is they love Panda Express. Nothing wrong with that. I love American Chinese food too. I just wanted to make sure. He said it's fine. He's been to that restaurant before and it wasn't even that spicy. Then he made a joke about how he's offended I don't think he can eat spicy food. He has a lot of Asian friends and can handle spice better than some of them. We agreed on a date and went to this restaurant. I ordered my dish in Chinese. I look white from my dad so if I ever order in English, I always get a pretty mild dish. But if I order in Chinese, they'll always make it spicier. My date told me to order for him too, and that he wanted it very spicy. She asked me in Chinese if he was sure and I said yes, make it extra spicy, he can handle it. Food comes out, and it's spicy. A couple of bites in and he starts struggling. I asked how the food is, and he's still putting up a strong front but he's barely eating it anymore. The waitress came over and starts speaking to me in Chinese, asking how the food is. The usual small talk and then said in English to him too spicy, and laughed a little. I didn't think she was being rude. She's probably used to people ordering food too spicy for them all the time and I laughed a little too. The second she walks away, he asked what I said to her in Chinese, and tells me I ordered it extra spicy to make fun of him because he ate at this place multiple times but it was never like this so I must have said something. I try to explain the whole ordering in English versus Chinese thing, that many Asian restaurants will do white spicy. It happens to me at Thai restaurants all the time unless I'm with a Thai friend. I tried a bite of his and it's the same so he tried mine and he said how mine is way less spicy, but even after I trade with him, he basically only ate rice for the rest of the dinner. After I got home, he texted me saying how it was rude that I purposely ordered and spoke Chinese to the waitress in front of him, that I wanted to embarrass him on purpose, and that I ruined his meal just so I can laugh at him not being able to handle it. I told some of my friends so we can laugh about this ridiculous date, 
but they think I should have known better that he wasn't going to be able to eat that food because he probably always got white spicy and was just being cocky, trying to impress me or something so I shouldn't have told the restaurant to make it extra spicy just to prove that he can't actually handle it. Story 3. Update. AITA for calling my mom's fiancé a creep. Hi. So this has been a wild week and I wanted to thank your comments and suggestions. They helped me through this. As I said in my last edit we went to dinner. At first, everything was silent but then Anne broke the ice by thanking my mom and Rick for spending time with us and that we should discuss important matters. I didn't know about this but my mom has been awful to Anne and Leo this week. They addressed that if she wants us to be part of her life, then some changes should be made. After they established their points, it was my turn. I started by stating Rick's presence has been bothering me since day one. Even if I should have said something about it, didn't justify his behavior. I appreciate the effort but he has crossed my boundaries and even if I am willing to have a relationship as friends with him, I'd not offer that option anymore if he continues this way. Also I'll soon be an adult so I don't need a parental figure. I already have one. Then pointed out that my mom was allowing this kind of behavior and it is wrong. If she is not willing to act as a parent and understand my feelings, not only mine but my siblings too then we'd rather cut our losses. My mom tried to justify her actions. Rick told her to shut up and listen to us. She stormed out of the restaurant but he stayed. He looked sad and apologized for all this. He didn't mean for this to happen. He asked Anne and Leo if they could give us some space so he and I could talk. Leo grabbed me, but Anne gave him a look, so he let go of me and went to a close table. Rick apologized again saying he is not like that and the feeling he might not connect with me took out the best on him, then told me he is my bio dad. My mom was supposed to tell me today but she cowardly left. He doesn't expect me to accept him in my life, but if ever want to know him or need anything, he'll always be there. When we came back home, I asked my dad. He hugged me and told me everything he knew about it. The thing is they don't know. The reason my parents divorced was because my mom cheated on him, and after she broke up with Rick, she was pregnant with me. My dad suspected it but never confirmed it. When they divorced, my mom out of rage told him I wasn't his son. Then Rick contacted him to talk about it. He told me however I feel it's okay. I shouldn't feel pressured to act in a certain way. If I want to get tested he'll help me. And no matter what that paper says his love for me won't change. I'll always be his son. I'm not sure how to feel. But I asked Rick to give me space so I could think about all of this. Also asked my dad if we could just simply be out of our mom's life. I don't want to be involved with her, and neither my siblings. If I am honest I don't know if I ever want to get tested or the least allow Rick to be part of my life, but I feel grateful for the family I have, and all the support and love my dad and siblings have been giving to me. That's all I have for you.